Hey guys, this is Triforce Plus One, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last part, we just found Starborn Valley. I was going to say Merle, but we found Merle in Starborn Valley, and he gave us a scarf that we gave to one of these snowmen, and we had to go back to Shiver City to talk to Mayor Penguin, who gave us the bucket for the other snowmen, and uh, that triggered a little key event that lets us go into Shiver Mountain. Alright, so obviously, very nice music, uh, Shiver Mountain. Got a little side-scrolling thing here. Can't jump over things, so we're just going to have to break the ice and hit the switch here. A little bit of puzzles involved here, uh, but it gets a little trickier later on, as you'll see soon. Uh, don't want to get... What? I was on the freaking step, you idiot. Ah, uh, whatever. Fine. I hate you guys. I hate you guys with a passion. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Star, star. Oh, let's do timeout. Never got to show you guys timeout. Or the stopwatch, for that matter. But we'll show Clever as timeout, just because. So he brings up a bunch of clocks. This is sim very, very similar to the timeout animation. Or the uh, stopwatch animation. Uh, we only got two of them. And as you see, timeout can uh, deliver a lot of... Not a lot of damage, but I mean, like... It will uh, stop them for a lot, a, a lot of turns. Whereas uh, the stopwatch will only bring it down to, like... I don't know, like, two or three turns? So very good to have uh, the stopwatch. I mean, uh, timeout, just to uh, you know, build up some time. What am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's go for uh, the frost piranha. Hacha! Feels so bad that it can't even attack us. <laughs> Finish him off! Yes! Kick to the face! And we get 12 star points, alright. So yeah, we're pretty much building up our uh, stats for uh, the upcoming battles, which is really nice. Alright, so uh, there's a bit of a puzzle. Whoa, that guy didn't even notice me, that's cool. Just hugging the wall there. Alright, I believe there's a hidden block here. Yes. Alright. It's just above that, uh... There we go. The Ultra Shroom! Oh my gosh, want! Ultra Shroom is a variant of the, uh... Jam and Jelly restores 50 HP, which is really, really nice. Um, is there anything back here? Oh, there's a rock. We actually do want this, so, uh, take this pebble. Unfortunately, I'll have to give up... Let's give up a maple syrup. I have a couple. Um, take this pebble, it's very important because you'll want uh, to take it with you. I'll show you later on. Anyway, if you go over here, you hit the switch with Cooper, and we're gonna move on. Whoa. The heck? Two Coopers? Hmm? No! What's wrong with my eyes? You just look, you look just like me. Imposter, who are you really? Tell me your name. I'm Cooper. Yeah, that's it. The question is, who are you? What, what? That's impossible! I'm the one and only Cooper! You're talking crazy talk now, you're making no sense. I'm the genuine Cooper, really? Come on, Mario, you know me. This guy's a big liar. I'm not lying! Mario, you know I'm Cooper, don't you? Don't you recognize your buddy? Shut your mouth, goody-goody! I'm his buddy! Yeah, and that's it. Why, you... You're the one who should shut his mouth! I'm his buddy! Listen, moron, er, Mario. You have to decide who's lying. It's the only way. Pick the one you think is lying and whack him really hard with a hammer. Fine. Yeah, fine with me. If you think you'd get away with a trick like that, fine. I know Mario knows who I am. I believe in you, Mario. Eh, uh, who to pick, who to pick, who to pick, who to pick? You! Ha ha! Take that, you little foolish. Yow! What made you think I was the one lying? You called me a moron. You jerk. Must have been luck. No one has instincts that good. You called me a moron! None of my party members called me a... Well, maybe except Spike or Lack of Lester. Don't be such a crybaby. You lost. What were you thinking trying to trick Mario like that? What? Shut up! I'll trick you! Woo! Alright, so now we have a proper introduction to Dupla Ghosts. This is their normal colored state. So Dupla Ghosts, as you saw, had the ability to uh, duplicate enemies, or duplicate my party members. I assume. And, um... I might as well do Dizzy Shell. 
And uh, Duple Ghosts have 15 HP. We've seen another Duple Ghost in Lee at the dojo in Toad Town, which is uh, alright, I guess. But um, yeah, so Duple Ghosts, very, very tricky dudes. Uh, you'll run into a lot more of them in the chapter, um, doing a lot more crazy tricks. There is one that's really funny, that's really like the most obvious one, but uh, you know, it's, it's, it, 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 it's like really, really funny kind of thing. And, uh, you know, uh, might as well show, since I'm showing everyone's attacks, might as well show Bo's Fan Smack. So it takes up five flower points, and again, you just uh, tilt the control stick to the left, and it causes two smacks, or two damage per smack, which is really nice. Alright, thank you, Bo, for your assistance. Assistance. And he hops off like a little moron. And let's just keep climbing up here. Oh! All right, a super block. Woohoo! And let's uh, ultra rank Cooper. So unfortunately, Goombario is getting shafted again, not even being super ranked. And now Cooper can use Fire Shell, which is really cool. Uh, basically, causing a lot of damage to all. Whoa! Did I jump on him? I did. Whoa! That's cool. All right, so these are White Clubbas, uh, variants on the regular Clubbas that we saw in Tubba Blubba's Castle. And, uh, might as well show Fire Shell. Takes up five flower points. And just like another smack attack and all that cool stuff. Causes eight damage. Very nice. Um, I think Cooper might be helpful in the in the uh, next coming battles. As you saw there, that was uh, White Clubba's um, exclusive attack. He hits you a couple times. So it can cause a maximum of six damage if you don't uh, action command them all. So I think I'm going to have Cooper out here, because there's some ice enemies, I believe. Like the Frost Piranha. I, I don't know if he's classified as an ice enemy, but uh, we can always double check. Alright, so right here are some items. Uh, there's a Shooting Star, a Snowman Doll, and a Lightning Bolt. Or uh, a Thunder Rage, I believe it's called. If you replace the Thunder Rage with um, a Pebble, or the Pebble that we picked up, you can actually uh, just take the item and, and, and so on and so forth, which is really cool. But uh, I'm going to skip on those because uh, apparently I can't carry any more items. Not just be like, oh, you want to take this item and switch? But yeah. Anyway, if we go down here, this is a very interesting thing. There's a crack in the wall here, so obviously let's pull out Bombette. And... All right. Oh, there's nothing back there? Oh, that sucks. Alright, wait a second. Didn't Merle say something about the walls being deceiving or something? Okay, well, let's see what happens. Aha! We can go through. Whoa. It's a ghost. At last, it is Mario. I'm glad you found this place. I've been expecting you. <laughs> Do you find it strange that I know of you? My name is Madame Merlar. I am a messenger of the stars. You know Merlon and Merle? Well, I am their ancestor. The stars spoke to me of you through my dreams. They said that they would come to the shrine on Shiver Mountain. It is here that I guard the way to the Crystal Palace. We have little time to waste, so listen carefully. You may not know this, but the followers of Bowser have invaded Crystal Palace, where stars are honored. Now that I have to tell you very... Now, what I have to tell you is very important. Listen to every word I say. I can't tell you the whole tale. In the interest of time, I'll be brief, so pay attention to the key points. The story begins a long, long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. I was a still young woman. I was still a young woman back then. A horrible thing happened on the mountain one day. I ran there immediately, and but was actually, oh, such a sight I was, and it was so, it was none other. So, then, then I. Ew, that's gross. Mario. Disgusting. So that's why you must get Bowser's men out of the Crystal Palace, but... Hey, you! Were you even listening to my story? Huh? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, it was very enticing. Well, okay then. As I was saying, you need the Star Stone to reach the palace. I'll give it to you. Cool. Is that what that is? With this stone, you can open the way to Crystal Palace. Go on, make haste. Hmm. Do you think you understand my shortened version of the tale? It really doesn't do the story justice, you know. 
Perhaps one day I'll tell you the whole story. Oh god. Until then, good luck. Well, thanks, Merlar. And we get the Star Stone. Very nice. Uh, this should be... I feel like this should be better. This isn't better than the Moon Stone from Pokemon. Be like, oh yeah, I'm using the Star Stone to evolve my Star Pokemon. Woo! Alright, anyway. Enough jibber-jabber. So this is the star the place where I have to put the Star Stone. Uh, if you didn't do this, you'll just see an empty spot. So that is where you'd have to go. But uh, now that we in, in, uh, put in the Star Stone, we can't go into that cave anymore, which is, sucks because I love the music there. And staircase is rising. I see staircase. This is going to be a bit of a climb. Holy crap. It is going to be a bit of a Oh my god. Oh boy. Well, hopefully you stretched, Mario, because we're going to be climbing up a lot of steps here. Although there are a couple good items back here, um, such as this one right here, which is the Mega Jump Badge. Uh, earlier in Chapter 6 in Flower Fields, we got the Mega Hammer Badge? It's Mega Smash Badge, right. I paused there, I didn't want to check. But uh, this is the equivalent, the jump equivalent. Uh, we can go ahead and save, but if you jump down here, we can grab a star piece. Anyway, so we're going to continue climbing up more stairs. It's a good thing Sushi's not here. Although Bob uh, Bombette is, is uh, kind of getting lost here. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and save. And let's continue on. Jump, 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 jump. All right. And we're going to heal up. All right, here we go. Whoa. Cool. That's awesome. I like that. That's a nice mirror. And here we are in the Crystal Palace. One of my favorite themes of all time is in this very dungeon. So the first thing we can do is uh, go into this room here. I believe there's a star piece. I can be wrong. Probably am. But anyway, this is the final dungeon. Well, not actually the final dungeon, but the last dungeon in the Mushroom Kingdom! Oh boy. Well, um, here we have new enemies. These are Swoopulas. Uh, variant of the Swooper, which we never actually showed on camera. But um, only way we can get them is if we hit them off the roof or the, the ceiling. Um, we can only use floating enemies such as Watt, Paracarry, Bow, and I believe Lackalester can use the Spiny Throw. So yeah, Swoopulas, if you don't have the Zap Tap badge, they'll swoop in on you and try and suck your blood. So they're just like fuzzies as well. Uh, there is really no use to use the action command, but it's still kind of cool. Um, hammer throw. Bamo. I'm trying to think of other enemies that you'll find in uh, the Crystal Palace. Um, there is one creature that isn't an enemy. It was actually originally scrapped as an enemy. So it, be it become... It, I mean, it was an enemy during development, but they changed it for some reason. But when you see it, it's like, whoa, I wish that was an enemy, because it looks so powerful and whatever. And it's a little bit of a throwback to a uh, previous enemy in Super Smash... Uh, not Super Smash Brothers. Super Mario World. But, you know, well, 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 when, when we get to it, we will get to it, I guess. Anyway... Let's go through this door here, and we grab... What do we grab? What do we grab? What do we grab? The blue key! Alright! So we take that blue key, and avoid the swoop you up! Ugh, goodness. This is so cool! Love the Crystal Palace. It's an amazing place. Alright, and uh, we see... How come, how come the reflection of Watt doesn't have the sparky things? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. As you see, we have the bl blue key, but this is a red door, so just go ahead and hit the switch. And it's going to bring the other door over. This is kind of a weird area, to be honest. Like, physically, it's just strange. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. So now we got the blue key, and I believe we can go on. I believe. Um, I guess we can end up right here. Just a very nice, uh, little bombing crack place. A crack place, that's a nice way of wording it. Anyway, so we finally found the Crystal Palace in this part. Uh, 
met some Duplo Ghosts and some other new enemies like the White Clubba. And we also Ultra Ranked Cooper, so the only one we'll have to Super Rank is Goombario. Hopefully we can find two Super Blocks within that time. But for right now, this is Triforce Plus One, signing off.